summer long, we have been talking about the negative effects of the droughts here in southern New England. But tonight we're finding a silver lining to the lack of rain, and you could be healthier because of it. Continuing our weather team coverage, 12 News reporter Erica Ritchie joins us from URI's East Farm. By this time last year, the West Nile virus had turned up in four mosquito samples in Rhode Island. So far this year, nothing. Experts say that's likely because of the drought. So I'm going to pour some of these in this pan. On a typical August day, here's where you'll find Al Getman in his office on URI's East Farm. There were a couple that got away. Examining mosquitoes. He's the state's mosquito abatement coordinator for the Department of Environmental Management. He separates mosquitoes by species and sends them to the health department to be tested for diseases like West Nile virus and Eastern equine encephalitis, or Triple E. He brings me outside to show me the trap that collects the samples. On a typical summer, how many mosquitoes would you say show up in one? Well, as you can imagine, it's highly variable, anything from zero to a few hundred. A typical number is probably 30 or 50, something like that. What are you seeing this summer? I would say about half of what we normally see. Getman says the drought has eliminated any standing water, robbing the pests of breeding grounds, and that's the silver lining to the lack of rain. Fewer mosquitoes would mean less disease likelihood. Mosquitoes aren't the only pests that need water. Everyone wants to stay hydrated. Ticks want to stay hydrated. Dr. Thomas Mather is the director of URI's Tick Encounter Resource Center. He says black-legged ticks, one of the species in our area that can carry Lyme disease, don't necessarily rely on rain for that hydration. Moisture comes in different forms, including humidity. And humidity has been persistent, particularly along the coast this summer. Dr. Mather's research team noticing a population trend as a result. There were places near the coast where there were plenty of nymphal black-legged ticks and places upstate um, there were less. Despite the disparity, preliminary data from the Rhode Island Health Department shows that cases of tick-borne illness are up this year, so they urge you to continue to be diligent to protect against tick bites. And the same is true with being vigilant to protect against mosquito bites. Even though we've not seen as many mosquitoes in the state so far this season, Al Getman says now is the time of year, late summer, early fall, when viruses like West Nile or Tripoli will begin to pop up. We've already seen isolated cases in both Massachusetts and Connecticut. In South Kingstown, Erica Ritchie, 12 News.